Hi everybody. Uh, thanks for all the great comments on the bird feeder and I had some questions so I wanted to do kind of a quick follow-up video. I made my bird feeder as a saloon theme but there's a lot of different themes you could come up with. Uh, just by changing the name at the top and maybe uh, what's here on the bar. Um, such as you could do like an ice cream parlor or a diner or a lemonade stand. Uh, anything like that. Just use your imagination. I also had some questions about how I made these bottles out of wood and uh, there's a couple different methods. I'm going to show you what I did and a couple other ways that I came up with. Really all I did was took a, a piece of three quarter inch scrap uh, that was pretty long actually and I just drew a bottle shape on one end like that. I don't know if you can see that and then I held it back here while I cut it on my bandsaw. Since this is three quarter inch thick, I'm just going to resaw it just a little ways, just past the bottle, so that when I cut this out, I'll end up with two bottles. So as you can see, I ended up with two bottle shapes and my hands didn't get anywhere near the blade. Then I just used the spindle sander to shape them into more of a refined bottle. Another method you could use to make the bottles is just take a regular piece of dowel and just trim off a piece that's about two inches long. Then you can chuck it up in your drill. And just use sandpaper. Or you could just get out a knife and do some whittling. I mentioned in my video that I use tight bond 2 and screws to put the bird feeder together. And as it turns out, tight bond 2 is the perfect glue for this. Uh, it's water resistant and you can also use tight bond 3 and if you head over to tightbond.com you can actually look up both glues and see all the different applications and find out everything you ever wanted to know about tight bond glues. I received a question about what to do about squirrels and I actually like squirrels and like watching them better than birds probably. So squirrels are welcome to come to uh, the saloon bird feeder over here. Um, I suppose they might break off those bottles that are on the bar, but if they do, I'll just glue them back on or just leave them off. Uh, it's no big deal, so bring it on, squirrels. I received a suggestion about uh, the possibility of water seeping in uh, back here where the hinge is and getting in here and kind of gumming up the bird seed. I plan on keeping this cleaned out, but uh, they suggested that uh, you shorten the back a little bit and you could actually overlay the top on top of the back and that would keep the water out and that's a great suggestion and if you wanted to sign on top you could still just glue it to the top. Another great suggestion I received was instead of using these square wood pieces for the seats on the bar stools is to just put another piece of dowel across the top of this one and that might create a better perch for the birds. Someone suggested that I add a riding knife or a splitter to the back of my table saw blade and I was actually thinking of doing that. Uh, this is a Craftsman 3 horsepower contractor saw and it came with this big clunky blade guard thing um, but instead of using this I need to make a zero clearance insert anyway so I was thinking of adding a thin strip of wood in the back of the zero clearance insert uh, to act as a splitter. I think I recently saw a plan for doing that so I think that's what I'm going to do and plus that way I'm killing two birds with one stone. Thanks again for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment and also visit me over at thecarmichaelworkshop.com and you'll find links there to my Twitter, 
Facebook, and my Lumberjocks page. So I'll see you next time.